Do Kwan, the founder of Terra Luna, has responded to many inside of this lengthy Twitter thread. There's a lot to unpack here, such as possibilities of Wrapped Luna sticking around with Coinbase, as well as a burn wallet that a lot of people have been looking at and trying to say, hey, just get rid of a lot of these extra tokens. So there's a little bit of a community effort that's going into that. Before I go into this further, I just want to say quickly, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. Go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and move forward. So first post by Greg Osuri says, I'm incredibly disappointed with StableQuant's Terra 2 proposal to abandon UST and Luna holders in IBC, DEXs, Osmosis, SIF Chain, Crescent, and Kava, while centralized exchange holders get the Luna 2 airdrop. Then we have a response here from Doquan who says, IBC assets will be indexed. So it's like, all right, he's starting to respond to people here a little bit more publicly. Sarah says, can you answer this? News, according to South Korea's Supreme Court Registry Office, Doquan, the CEO of Terraform Labs, reportedly closed down his company in Korea days before the crash of Terra Luna and UST. He dissolved his company's Busan headquarters on the 4th of May and the Seoul branch office on the 6th of May. Do Kwan says, I've been in Singapore since last December. This is a personal decision. It has long been planned. I've been open about being located in Singapore across multiple interviews and podcasts. Shutting down a company just takes some time, and timing is purely coincidental. Fat Man, uh, Fat Man responds by saying, true, this is what I've been saying. Nothing shady or scammy about wrapping up and moving out of Korea. The only thing you wanted to do is pay less taxes and maybe eat better food. Chicken rice is great, to be frank. Very unlucky timing because it makes things look worse than they are. Do Kwan says, Korea has zero crypto taxes and cheaper costs of living. Not a major factor in my decision. Fat Man responded saying, Are you not being pursued by the Korean tax authorities for over $78 million in unpaid business taxes? Singapore has lower business taxes and zero capital gains tax. Your ex-dev also mentioned Korean tax officials were harassing employees in your office. Come on now. Do Kwan responded saying, we have no outstanding tax liabilities in Korea. The NTS did conduct a tax audit across all the major crypto cause with a presence in Korea and applied Korean tax code to foreign mother companies and every company ended up paying as a result. We paid in full, not unique to TFL. Fat Man responded saying, very interesting. That's completely contrary to what the media says, but thank you for the information. It would be awesome if you could post more details evidence of this at some point. Do Kwan says, understand why this would be interesting to look at for gossip, but not sure if it's relevant to anything that's going on. Korean government needed money to shore up COVID spending, creatively charged millions from crypto companies, and we paid our share in full. All there is to it. Galactic says, any chance TFL could have a whip round and donate some of their profits from this year to top up the balance for the UST compensation plan? Do Kwan responds by saying, we're down $30 billion this year. Crypto Thespian says, have you sold the Bitcoin that was in your reserves? Do Kwan, all but 313 Bitcoin was used to defend UST peg. Fat Man, are there any plans to release trade logs, counterparties that were involved, any potential conflicts of interest, the exact details of the OTC blocks? This is one of the major transparency issues that needs to be dealt with given potential venture capital board COI. Do Kwan responds by saying we don't control the trade logs of trading partners granular trade execution this is not how mm or market maker arrangements typically operate but the amount of ust lfg purchased maps to the amount of bitcoin expended batman responds saying sorry to sound cynical but this feels like a cop-out this isn't about the trade structure who were the market makers you worked with did they have any sway over the board which venture capitalists were allowed to cash out their ust luna tra uh, tranches I'm assuming that meant transactions. If such a thing happened internally, any logs? Do Kwan responds by saying, no venture capitalists were allowed to cash out anything. No backroom deals of any kind exist. We're trying to see if we can name counterparties in the trades, but confidentiality will need to be waived for us to be able to do this. Algo Moneyfest says, will you be able to lead this? There are people who believe you will face lawsuits and legal challenges in South Korea and Singapore. Could you please comment? Do Kwan says, my priority is not about what happens to me, but making sure the Terra community has a place to build and years of their work does not go to waste. I don't care what happens to me as long as that happens. Ronson says, give us the burn Luna address. We will burn it for you. And guess what? Do Kwan responds actually giving 
an address. So this is Terra1SK. You guys can see that on the screen right there. I will, um, I, I'm not going to, I'll post the link to the Twitter thread. That's what I'll do. So if you guys want to be able to go find that address, you can find it through the Twitter thread. I'll have that posted in the description for you guys. And so a little bit more going on here. We also see Zero Killer says, what's happening with Wrapped Luna on Coinbase? Do Kwan says, we've reached out to Coinbase and have yet to hear back. So makes you wonder, Luna was what, a top 10 crypto before it had this big crash. So why would Coinbase not be responding back to them? Obviously, they should be aware of everything that's going on, and they are aware of what's going on because they said that they were going to discontinue the wrapped Luna in the near future. So if there's any possibility that they're going to extend that out, allow it to keep being traded, we need to get some answers soon because people are going to be making trade decisions in the very near future uh, based on what is taking place with that. Because if it's not going to be supported there anymore, then a lot of people may end up selling their wrap Luna over on Coinbase. If it gets extended out, people may hold, more people may even buy. So I think Coinbase is looking at the situation and just trying to see what the decisions are from Do Kwan and from the community of how they're going to try and move forward with Luna. And then Coinbase can kind of evaluate whether or not they want to keep showing their support for that or not. So just kind of looking through, we see a lot of, uh, you know, Coinbase support that's fake, that's not real. Do not trust that, guys. And, yeah, I'll just read through a couple more of these. Hi, Stable Quan. I have Luna and Coinbase wallet. I bought from PancakeSwap. What will happen in Co if Coinbase delists Luna? I also have Binance account. I have Luna and Coinbase wallet. I bought from PancakeSwap. Yeah, so this person just trying to find out some answers there. Uh, Coinless, it says, hi, Dev. TerraCore release is cut. Network launch instructions made available for validators will be held today. Doquan responded by saying validator, validator instructions are in the technical details section of the proposal and the release will be cut very soon. So there's some of the latest on this project, guys. I wanted to keep you up to date so that you know what's going on. And I hope that everything does work out. There's a lot of people that have a lot of money that's involved with this. And it would be a shame if this project just completely went away. It's on the verge of that happening and it essentially went to zero almost overnight. Um, but if it can bounce back, if it can make a recovery, there's a lot of people that would feel reassured and it would also reflect nicely in the crypto community space, in my opinion, because of the fact that it was able to pull back and pull it off. But a lot of people are upset right now. A lot of people are uncertain on things. Hopefully, Coinbase makes an official response soon. That's it for this video. Uh, I do have uh, referral links in the description if you guys want to get free crypto or free stock. Webull has a really good promotion. They do both stocks and crypto. This is not financial advice, guys. Go do your own research. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. Click the bell icon. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Double shout out. Thank you to Velmer Brockovich. We love SafeMoon.com, Morad Shaker, Victor Vegas, and SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. And also thank you to my YouTube members. I appreciate all of you guys so much. I'm on twitch.tv forward slash crypto atlas. There's a link in the description if you want to come and check me out playing some retro games. I'm practicing right now some Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time speedrunning strats. And I am getting better. So I'm excited about that. Thank you guys so much. God bless. I will see you in the next episode.